Greetings. I'm Dr. Narasimhaya Srinivasaya. I'm a colorectal surgeon at Apollo Hospital in Bangalore. Inflammatory bubble disease, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's colitis, non-specific colitis, indeterminate colitis, collagenous colitis, stercoral colitis, diverticular colitis. So goes different names for inflammation in the bubble and this is called as colitis ladies and gentlemen what is colitis what is inflammation by the way let me give you an analogy if you take a burning charcoal and hold in your hands for a few seconds and drop it down the changes you see in the hand the redness the swelling the rise in the temperature and the pain are the effect of an injury to the hand. The body is responding to an external insult and this is called as inflammation. The bubble goes through a similar process where it gives out symptoms and signs secondary to inflammation. The assault can be viral, can be bacterial, can be related to the stool or can be autoimmune. When I say autoimmune, there are cells in the body which are working against our own cells. There are a number of reasons for inflammation and this inflammation can cause swelling in the bowel, pain in the bowel, you know, redness in the bowel and it localized rise in the temperature of the bowel and it can cause disruption of the function of the bowel thereby causing pain, bleeding, bloating and sometimes fistulae and abscesses. So, ladies and gentlemen, inflammatory bowel disease is a spectrum of disorders which causes inflammation of the lining of the bowel or layers of the bowel, thereby causing symptoms and signs. What causes inflammatory bowel disease? A good question, a lot of reasons, but we think it is due to changes in the status of hygiene. The more cleaner we are, the less immune status we have, the less stronger you are and that is one of the causes we are told. Helminth theory, we think that we have eradicated the bugs in the bowel, the helminths in the bowel, the worms in the bowel which we needed because we live in a state of symbiosis that drops your immune system because of lack of them and causes inflammation. La bad toileting that can cause inflammation in the gut. Diverticulosis can cause inflammation in the gut and other autoimmune causes can cause inflammation in the gut. So number of causes can cause inflammation in the gut, ladies and gentlemen. It is important to figure out the exact type of inflammation and attend to the cause and also treat them with medications and when there is a need for surgery, undertake surgery for IBD. Thank you. Thank you one and all.